Okay, so starting on the move here, heading to Drakenfest again this year. I don't know if I'm in focus right now because this camera is pretty old at this point. Yeah, I'm kind of legging it around from airport to airport because uh, I don't know where I'm going half the time and I'm kind of running late. I'm also running on about two hours of sleep and about six cups of coffee. I'm not sure what way I'll put this video together, but uh, sure, we're on the way. On the way to Drakenfest 2016. don't know if I'm even in the shot right now. After a little trekking around, I finally made it to Hanover, where I'm gonna have to get the train to somewhere else in Hanover. I'm very tired, very tired. It's proving difficult to get in touch with people. Also, there's an adorable dog over there and it's very distracting. I'm trying to get footage of him. As for usual, I am so warm. I did not expect it to be this warm. I was a fool, it's warm every year. What was I thinking? I just wanna go to the Airbnb I booked and chill. The fuck out. How does this work? Why can't you speak English? Anyway, good try. Find this Airbnb. I'll chill out. List of my life. Okay. Ooh, this looks kind of neat. Let me out. Where the fuck am I? So, gotta go get a train now, but we've no supplies, so we're gonna try pick up all this random junk. The battery in my like smaller camera doesn't work properly all of a sudden, so I have to try to find a battery for that. For now, I'm using my phone. It probably looks shite. Wah. So, required necessities. Shampoo. Sunscreen. I guess a nail file, if you're that way inclined, or stuck in prison. Nail clippers to trim your gross talons that are sticking out of your hands. A velociraptor, because... Velociraptor. Power bank, so you can charge your phone. Bare camera batteries that are third party and may or may not work. Feckin' loads of these lads, cause you're gonna lose them all, so that you can plug your stuff in from other countries. Machetes, for killing your enemies. Okay, so, me and this weirdo, we decided it was so fucking hot and we were so fucking tired that we'd go and get ice cream, cause we deserved a treat, we think. And then uh, we go up, we forget that we don't speak the local language. We go up and we're like, Two chocolate sundaes, please. And he's like, okay. And he comes back with, uh, let me flick the camera around. And the waiter comes back with two of these, which are, of course, roast and hot chocolates, which is kind of the exact opposite of what we thought we ordered. So I went up and I ordered again, and he was kind of a bit iffy about what I meant. So it'll be funny to see what we get this time. At least it's not hot, whatever we get. So, I don't know. <laughs> Germany, Drakenfest, oh, it's wonderful. So. The waiter that couldn't speak English, that got our orders mixed up before, he uh, comes back over with our orders and like puts them out and we're like, oh yes, awesome. And he's like, where are you guys from? I was like, what? He's like, where, where, are, you, where are you from? I was like, Ireland, Britain, Australia. And he's like, oh, Brazil. And we're like, okay, he's like, have a good day. And walks off, in perfect English. <laughs> and he's like, wait, what? You could, you could understand us before? What, where was the problem? Two of these, because they're cold, hopefully. I managed to figure out the whole train thing. It is roasting hot out. I am dying. And I'm dying every year. It's always like this every year, and yet I always dress like this. And yeah, yeah, I'm wearing a hat and stuff. Shut up. Uh, yeah, so I'm waiting on a train to Altenbecken now, and that's going to take like two hours. Then I have to get a train from Altenbecken to Warburg Westhoff. Someone made a comment before just telling me that we uh, Westhoff in Warburg Westhoff stands for like Weston Fjörgen Fjörgedir or something? I don't know. Just waiting on that now. <sighs> Not able for this. My money is disappearing somehow. I'm after finding I've lost a lot of money. I don't know where it's gone or where I lost it. I think I've lost my bank card. So I'm getting more and more irritated. As lighthearted and fun loving as I seem right now, I'm actually very pissed off. So I just want to get to Drakenfest at this point and hang out with the friends I haven't seen in a year or people I've been talking to online. <sighs> and I don't know what way I'm going to do the videos at all this year. I was hoping to have it more planned out, and I have not. So I'm just going to play it day by day. They might be shite, they might be awesome, whichever. So I managed to get on a train, and it's roasting here. We have all this stuff, we have like tons of stuff. And there's no free seats. So we're like dead on our feet, just like standing like zombies. But uh, at least we're on the way. We've got to get to Altenbecken, and then from Altenbecken we go to Warburg. And then we don't know, we're going to have to either get a taxi or a lift. And we should really hit the supermarket beforehand.
Um, so we are at fucking where's it? Alton Beckon now, and uh, I'm super gross and super sweaty and super tired. But this is probably the earliest I've been at this train station before. Every other time, I don't know if the wind is wrecking the sound now. Every other time I've been at Alton Beckon, it's been like nearly dark out, or it's been dark by the time I've gotten to Warburg. And it's only like four o'clock at the moment. So I'm gonna get there for the first time, arrive at Drakkefest during daytime. It'll be a first for me. Yeah, we're almost there. I don't know how I'm gonna get from Warburg to Drakkefest, but sure, sure we'll see. So we made it to Drakkefest. And uh, I'm even more sweaty than I was before, which means I smell even worse. I found these people. And uh, we're trekking all the way to our camps, which are miles away. So, I managed to get a lift from these lads. They were nice enough to give us a lift all the way to our camp, because we were wrecked on the side of the road. I was dreading having to walk a lift, but I got very lazy. But yeah, we should be in gold camp in a minute. And hopefully it's all set up, because I don't want to do any work because I'm very lazy. So, we're nearly there. I see people waving. Probably not at us though. Yeah, we made it. We're at Drakkefest. <sighs> I'm so tired. And uh, um, there's people making fun of me, I think. Yeah, there are people making fun of me. And uh, they're all waving and shit. I think I know where we're camping. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're finally here. Extremely sweatily. But we made it. And I'm wrecking stuff behind me. Approaching. Please make a cue for autographs. <laughs> Five euro stop, each. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> oh, well, I crack. miss you so much. <laughs> I think I gotta go around. Okay, so surprise cut away. I got a lot of footage this year at Drakenfest, but it doesn't necessarily tie together that well. Mostly because my little point and shoot camera didn't work a lot. And I couldn't really film on my phone that well because it had this really awkward phone case on it. So I'm thinking I might do a couple of little cutaways like this one just to kind of create a transition between stuff that's happening. I do hope you guys enjoy what I get at Track and Fest this year because I'm really unconfident about what I've gotten so far. I know I say that every year, but this year I'm really unconfident about it. But hey, I guess something's better than nothing. Next year I'll do way better, I swear. Anyway, I hope you guys do enjoy even a little bit what I got this year, even if it is a bit shaky and crap. Uh, if you do, let me know in the comment section down below and we can have a chat about Drakenfest and Fest and how your Drakenfest Fest was and how my Drakenfest Fest was and why you didn't go to Dracofest if you didn't go. Thanks for watching guys. I'm looking forward to seeing what you think about all this.